Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Collectors. And to say I'm a Sega Dreamcast enthusiast is kind of an understatement. Retro Fighters announced a Sega Dreamcast controller that was gonna be funded through Kickstarter last year. Once I saw this ability to play a modernized controller on the Sega Dreamcast, I was hooked and backed it right away. I'm extremely excited to have this in my possession and finally unbox it for you guys and let you guys know if it's worth your hard earned money. So without further ado, let's crack into this box. As we crack into this box, we get to see what the actual box looks like. The build quality and feel of the overall box is second to none. Most boxes or from Kickstarter or from any company have a real cheap feel to it. But the Striker DC comes out looking very sharp. As you get into the box, you're treated with a few goodies. Stickers for the stretch goal of $130,000, a product info pamphlet, and a keychain. Holding it in your hand feels very comfortable. Although the analog stick doesn't have too much of a sway from left, right, up, or down in comparison to the Dreamcast original controller. The D-pad is much lower to the face of the controller. So being able to pull off combos should be a little bit easier and not so much strain on the thumb. You're greeted with a turbo and clear button. Although fairly comfortable, there are a few things that I'm not quite a fan of. We're gonna get to that later on in the video. The back triggers have a short distance and do feel very, very good. Nice spongy response. One of the things I'm not too big a fan of is the VMU is a little bit snug, a little bit too tight to slide in. Nothing huge. It does add like a little bit of a snugness or more of a grip to it. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is the VMU placement. I don't like how the VMU sticks out of the controller higher than it's more intended on the standard Dreamcast controller. Another thing I'm not a fan of is this overall plastic shield. The Retro Fighters branding there, I get what they tried to do and I'm not hating that per se, but I don't like this shield. It's too thin and I feel that if a well-timed drop may just crack that and there goes that face plate. I do like the cord placement. It comes up, but it's not in the way. It's, it could lay down and it's no longer in your way where you have to, on the standard Dreamcast, clip it in and you lose a lot of cordage that way. This is placed perfectly. You lose about maybe two inches, whereas the standard Dreamcast controller, you lose about five or six inches from the bottom of the controller to the top. Playing with the Striker DC does feel very good. Pulling off combos and playing shoot 'em ups you have no real quarrels as far as button placement or the feel of buttons. Now the key question, is this worth your hard-earned money? If you're a huge Dreamcast fan, then yes. This overall controller does feel very good and it is a nice replacement of the standard Dreamcast controller. But if you're somebody who just plays the Dreamcast or is not as an avid collector or gamer of the Dreamcast, is it worth your money? Probably not. A standard controller gets you through your gaming sessions and you're probably comfortable enough with that. I, on the other hand, love this controller. Minus a few little quarrels, of the aesthetics and the overall look of the controller. I would rather a six button, much like many other people, but the six button are placed up here and it's not that big of a deal. It's not hard to get access to or to pull off combos in fighting games. Please let me know what you guys think. Have you guys picked up the Striker DC and are you at all happy with your purchase? I know I certainly am. And if you did pick it up, what is your number one Dreamcast game that you love playing with this controller? Put it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.